it's an old plane, obviously. It's uh, kind of rattly. I mean, it's not anything close to anything modern. I think the thing, they were built in the 30s, you know, and flying in the, in the war. Very thin metal all the way around. No seats, because it's the way it was a vintage bomber that didn't have seats at the time. You might have had something for, you know, the pilots and, the, and a bombardier and, and a radio operator. But other than that, you're roaming the cockpit or the whole cabin inside there back and forth. You could walk across the, the bomb bay walkway and you can go up and look in the turrets. And I mean, it was just, it's just old. Think of those things flying back in World War II. They'd come back with like no tail and they were still able to fly those things back in. And they had been through those planes over and over and over again to, to keep them up and keep them flying. So I felt pretty confident. What I found interesting was just the fact that it's not pressurized. Um, you had to get to the B-29 to get something pressurized. So the exhaust fumes would come up in through it. I mean, it just, it was exactly the way a, a plane from the 30s and early 40s would feel. There was a, a World War II vet that was on there and I could see him reliving what he went through. I, I mean, I, could all, I, I didn't talk to him, but I could just see him feeling it and sensing the smells, and he was going back in time.